There are several options under the Dimensions dropdown, but today's tech tip will cover the versatility of the basic dimension tool. Selecting a linear edge will create a linear dimension. Selecting two points will create a linear dimension between them. This can be placed vertically, horizontally, or aligned with the two points. Selecting a point and a line creates a linear dimension perpendicular to the selected line. Selecting two lines will create a linear dimension between them. If the two lines aren't parallel, it'll automatically switch to an angle. Selecting three points allows you to also define an angle. The order of selection here will matter. The first point will be the vertex of the defined angle and it will be measuring between the second and the third points. Selecting a complete circular edge will yield a diameter dimension, but selecting a partial arc will yield a radius. All of these different dimension types were created using the dimension tool. We hope it has shown its versatility.